Hello! In this video tutorial, we're going to see how to delete blank rows in Excel using uh, VBA macros. I have here some data in front of me um, for product sales with the product code in column A, the units sold in column B, price per unit in C, and total cost in D. Uh, as you see, we have here some empty rows here, 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 and we want to delete. Uh, we want to get rid of those rows. We can do that in Excel in different ways, but we're going to use it VBA uh, to do that. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. You can find it here or press Alt F11. And here we're going to create a module. And if this is new to you, please check the first lessons in the Tutorial for Beginners in Excel Macro class. I'm going to leave the link in the description. So here we will call our macro. So this is a procedure or subroutine. And we're going to call it delete blank rows. Now, the first thing we want to do is to declare some variables. I'm going to use a, a variable, I will call it r, to hold the row number, because we're going to be looping through the rows here. And I will declare it as a long variable. Uh, a long variable can hold uh, large numbers as opposed to an integer. And we want to make sure <clears throat> we, we can hold um, numbers uh, for all rows in Excel. Because uh, as you know, in Excel, you, you can have more than a million rows. So just in case you have a data set with, with many rows, you, you want to use a long variable. I'm going to declare another variable called LR, which stands for last row. And it will be also a long, uh, a long uh, variable. Uh, last row is going to hold the last um, row with content. Okay, you can call these variables whatever you want. You can call it a row number or, or, or whatever. Um, I just call it like this for simplicity. Um, so now we're gonna check which is the last row with number. We, we can see is row number 20, right? So that's, but uh, to see that with VVA, we need to use, uh, well, we can do it in several ways, but I'm gonna use the cells property. So, um, with the end property, so uh, the cells we will we will start from the from the last row um, in column A, and then uh, we're going to go up until it finds a, um, a cell with content. Then it will give us the row number with the row property. Now we're gonna start a do loop, so it will loop until r equals lr and um, so let's close the loop here the first thing we want to do in the loop is to increase the row number uh, counter so it's going to be r so when, when we start the loop it will be r will be one so it will be this row then two three and so on and it will go until the 20 uh, the row 20 right um, then we're going to put a condition here, and we're going to check if range um, A and so we want to check A1. So we're going to check column A. Yeah. So we could check column A and B. You see those are th those the blanks. We can find the blanks there, or we could use the whole row. But here is enough to check uh, column A. And we're going to, we want to check column A, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to use R here to check the value. And if the value is nothing, double quotations, then we want to delete that row. So rows R, delete. At the same time, we want to, uh, when we delete the row, we want to decrease the, the, the counter. So R equals R minus 1. And also the last row is going to be uh, one num one number less. So, and then we will f um, close the condition, the end, the, the if condition. So with an end if. And here's our macro. Um, let's run it and see how it works. We can run it with the play button here, and boom, it has deleted all the blank rows in the data set. So that's how we delete blank rows in Excel using VVA macros. 
Thanks for watching.